it's pretty common when you're a sensitive for people to tell you, you just gotta protect yourself, you just gotta shield yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, fill in the blank, fill in the blank. But that's more resisting what is. So what happened uh, way back when, you know, I'm like extra, extra sensory. It's like a disability, it's not really an ability. So it's like functioning in day to day like this freaking hard. You know? So my mother ended up putting me on this plane to China because she was like, I can't deal with this child and only people in the East know what to do. So they put me in with this guy who's a five-star journal in China and he is a master of Qigong. And you know, my mother was explaining to him, I really want her to understand, you know, to learn some protection techniques. And he looked at her like, what the hell are you smoking? <laughs> and he was basically explaining through a translator who spoke no English that um, it's pretty much the worst thing you could do as an energy worker, both for the planet and for yourself. So he challenged me and he's like, okay, I'm going to take you to the busiest train station that we can find in Beijing. And we're gonna stand there, and when these people flood off the train, like thousands of them, when they flood off the train, you're gonna breathe them in instead of resist them. Because typically, what do you do if you're an injury sensitive? It's like, oh, uh, you know, let's cover myself as fast as I can, like, because it's really overwhelming. But he actually forced me to stand there and to breathe all of their energy into my body and then feel what it felt like to just basically send it down into the earth. He was teaching me that I can actually channel that energy. Not only that, that I can expand wide enough to take it all in. It was this awesome lesson that basically one single human can swallow the universe if they want to. After practicing it, that's the end of it. I, I don't do protection techniques anymore, ever.